Hello viewers and welcome to my review of the Revell Golf GTI. When it comes to the detail, I've sort of hand painted it with the sort of metallic silver, the sort of more probably the common colour of the Mark 1 Golf. When it comes to the front of the Golf GTI, I hand painted the red line around the grille. There was decals that came with the kit for this, but I prefer the finish that you get with the hand painting technique over the decals that come with the kit. On the bottom of the Golf GTI, I just threw caution to the wind on what to paint what colour. I didn't have any reference material to go on, so I just painted whatever I thought looked right. The decals of the stripes at the side of the Golf have stayed on really well. Other details such as the door frames have been painted on and they're excellent. One of the extra details that I like is the roof lining on the inside of the model. A great attention to detail on Ravel's part for including it. The only regret I have with this model is that I didn't airbrush it rather than hand paint it because the hand painting that I've done has sort of made it a little bit worn out looking but it does add to the character of the model. Overall I found that this Ravel Golf GTA turned out better than expected, containing a great level of detail and an excellent addition to the collection.